All right, y'all, I'm Jonathan Joyner. This is Hunt the Front, and that that you see behind me is New York City. I am up here on vacation with my wife and uh, my mom and sister, and uh, we're hanging out here a few days. I'm actually walking through the middle of Central Park, and I figured I'd take a few seconds to catch up with y'all and give y'all a little update of what's going on. I'm hoping that I can make it home by the end of the week, get to work on the 56 car, and get it ready to go racing at Southern Raceway Saturday night, August 3rd, where we're eight points behind the two car uh, as we get here to uh, the second half of the season. Joseph will be racing. He'll be racing something uh, a little different. Uh, I'm not gonna give you all the full details just yet, but here is a little preview of what Joseph will be racing uh, this weekend. So like I said, that's just a little teaser there. We're probably gonna shoot a video. When I get home, I'll get out to the big shop and hang out with Joseph and shoot a video telling y'all more about that. So stay tuned there. But should make for an interesting night, Saturday night at Southern Raceway. Uh, we also have Joshua in the go-kart. He, uh, he ran into some issues as he was uh, changing some things on the cart. And uh, so what you're gonna see in this video is Joshua uh, trying to uh, figure out how to fix those problems. So I'm not gonna tell you too much as you can watch the video and you kart racers, uh, if y'all have any suggestions for Joshua on how to fix it, be sure to let him know. Hopefully he can get uh, those issues worked out and maybe he'll be making some laps somewhere this uh, this weekend as well. Also did a, uh, a podcast, went on a podcast, did an interview with the Dirt Nerds. I thought it went really well, really enjoyed uh, talking with them and I'll leave a link in the description where y'all can check that out. Here's a, I'll show y'all really quickly a few clips from uh, from our vacation. We, uh, we saw the Statue of Liberty. Okay. We, uh, we went up top and uh, take, took a look from a skyscraper. And then we're also going to go to a Yankees game tonight. So anyway, the rest of uh, this video, y'all gonna be hanging out with Joshua in his garage. He's gonna have to improve his lighting. He's also gotta get him some tools. He's gotta get some stuff to work with if he's gonna be, really take this cart thing seriously. But y'all enjoy the rest of the video. Let him, uh, leave him with some suggestions. Uh, if you got any suggestions on how to fix those issues. And like I said, maybe he'll be making some laps somewhere this weekend. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the video and uh, we'll check back in later. What's up, y'all? I'm Joshua Joyner, and this is Hunt the Front. Thanks to some rain, I'm here at the garage, and uh, I'm going to be doing some work on the cart tonight. Um, so I figured, uh, since you guys have been so helpful with all your comments on the karting videos we've had so far, I figured I'd bring you guys along, uh, kind of show you what I'm working on and what I'm trying to uh, repair on the cart, or see if I can repair, and uh, see if you guys have any tips and suggestions of what I'm dealing with. So what I noticed down here, come down here with me, um, is that actually one of the... What we found is that one of the bolts here is actually stripped out. So um, as I was uh, moving the engine forward to tighten up the chain, um, I actually found that this one would not tighten up. And then if we take it out, you can actually see, turn it here for you guys. You can see that, but the, uh, it has pulled out the, uh, the tre uh, threads from the mount. So that's one thing we're going to be doing tonight is getting the engine off the cart. Um, it's one thing I wanted to do anyway, just to kind of clean it up and, and uh, around here and kind of look over things. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get that engine off the cart and uh, see what we can figure out about that mount. By the way, some of you guys were asking what kind of engine we're running. Um, this is uh, actually running a Predator engine. Um, it is the Predator division at my local track, Callahan Speedway. And no, it is not a box stock Predator um, engine. Uh, it comes from the track, the track owner, he's an engine builder. But he goes ahead and makes some modifications to uh, kind of uh, tune them up a little bit and then put some seals on them here, there, and then one more on the back there um, to, uh, uh, you know, to keep them stock or keep them uh, from doing too much um, tuning on them.
By the way, guys, I know a lot of you gave me uh, suggestions on tires as far as uh, what tires to run. The track I run at and the division I run, the Predator Light Division, we're running uh, Vega Red, or Vega Reds. Um, so that is the required tire for the division I run at my local track, Callahan Speedway. So I'm going to try to, before I run again, I'm going to try to uh, try to put some, some uh, prep on these tires, see if I can get them to, to get a little more grip. Um, then eventually when I get a little more comfortable in the seat and feel like the uh, feel like I'm ready for a new set of tires, we'll get a new set and get them prepped up as well. So as I was taking my right rear tire off, I already found another thing that's concerned me about this uh, about uh, the cart that uh, I might need to look into um, with the right rear hub here. So uh, spin this over and find where it was. But yeah, found that right there. You can see uh, that is pretty well cracked almost all the way through where that uh, bolt holds it together and uh, I'm assuming it appears that that is the entire hub there that would have that needs to be repaired. Cart racers, maybe you know a little more about it. Have you ever seen that happen? I'm sure it's um, not an uncommon thing there. Is that something that needs to be immediately replaced or is that something that you might could race with for a few races uh, until you have the time and funds uh, to replace it? You guys let me know. All right, guys, so I got the nuts loose that uh, hold the engine down there to the, the engine mount. Um, but now I'm wondering about this chain and how I'm going to get the chain off uh, from the front sprocket there. The, the shield here, the bolt that holds the shield on, I don't know if you guys can see that down there, uh, blocks the chain from being able to come off the front. Um, and I don't have the tool to remove the clutch. Um, so I'm thinking... That for me to get this off, if maybe I can get this, and this may be thinking totally backwards, and maybe um, there's an easier way to do this that I'm not seeing, um, is to take the rear end off and to slide, as I take the engine off, slide the, uh, the chain off from around the rear end. Um, I've looked, and I always thought a chain, there should be a link that allows you to... to uh, to um, break the chain or uh, at least take the chain apart um, but I cannot find that link All right, so what we'll do is take this off of here and so what I'm thinking is the thing is, if I lift this up, maybe not, maybe, that I might be able to slide the chain through there and then pick the engine up off and move it. Maybe. Let's see. There we go. Alright guys, so getting this engine mount off here, um, I'm just going to show you what we're dealing with on the uh, the engine mount. So, um, if you notice here, in this hole here you can see the screw has pulled out some of the threads and it won't start in there properly. So. I don't know if that's something if we can get that out of there and retap that uh, the hole there, retap it and get a new screw, a bigger screw, um, or if I'm gonna have to get a whole new mount. I don't know. If that's something that we're gonna have to look into, but um, definitely that's something I want to get taken care of before I run again. So that was uh, kind of a big deal there. By the way, uh, I mentioned in the uh, race video from the other night about the uh, about the cart stand uh, or lack thereof. So how do you guys like this stand I'm uh, making do with here at the in the in the garage? I have a couple of old bar stools that we weren't using uh, in the kitchen bar. Um, my wife wasn't too pleased with that, but we're making do. And an old beer keg in the front there. Um, that's actually an antique. So I guess that's another uh, 
thing uh, expense I'm gonna have to fork over uh, a few hundred dollars on a stand just haven't uh, been able to make myself uh, make that expense yet but here pretty soon I do know I'm gonna have to get me a stand if you have any recommendations uh, on a stand or if you know somebody trying to sell a used one so I can save me a little money uh, let me know because I'm definitely gonna have to get me one alright guys as you can see we got this thing pretty well apart uh, got the engine off of it so I can check into that uh, engine mount um, didn't take the hub off just yet uh, there's one thing I'm gonna check into as far as seeing about getting a new hub um, with that for that cracked one uh, while I got this thing apart I'm probably gonna go ahead and clean it up but I was thinking if you guys have any suggestions on some other things I should be checking on what other what else I should be looking for for as far as as far as maintenance and parts that may need to be replaced uh, let me know leave me a comment let me know um, so I can check those out it's gonna be a few days before we get this back together I'm sure um, but yeah so it's gonna sit a little bit like this for a while and I got some time to kind of check over some other things um, and then hopefully we'll get it back together soon and uh, and go racing like I said I was planning on go doing some practicing tonight the rain held me up but it gave me a chance uh, to kind of go over the cart and find some things I need to fix. Anyway, thank you guys for uh, joining me in, in the shop here tonight uh, to do a little uh, tinkering on the cart. cart. Um, hopefully we have some more videos for you guys soon.